The last video I showed you how we could construct two first order ordinary differential equations from a second order ordinary differential equation. And now these first order ordinary differential equations we can implement in MATLAB. So at the end of the last video, we come up with these three equations at the bottom here that list the update for time, x, and v, um, where x is the position of our, of our mass and v is the velocity of our mass. Of our, of our mass. And a goal in this video is to implement these three equations in MATLAB. I'm going to start using Euler's equation, and then we'll eventually do it with Hume's method. So first of all, we need to define some constants. So we need to define, um, let me clear CLC so I don't have any variables left around. So parameters, I need the mass of our object. Let's say our, our object weighs 5. Uh, always good to have units, so kilograms. Our spring constant is... Um, three newtons per meter. And what else do we have? We have some inputs. Our inputs are our step size. I'm going to take step size. Let's start with 0 0.1 seconds. And T final, how long do I want this simulation to go? Let's say we want to do uh, 10 seconds worth of simulation. We can adjust those later. I'm just guessing those quantities at this point. Um, we're going to set an initial condition. Initial condition is t of 1 is equal to 0. x of 1 is equal to our initial displacement, which in the last video I said was 2. And our initial velocity is 0. Okay, so now I'm going to have my update loop. Before i is equal to 1 through n, I haven't defined n, so n is the number of steps we're going to take n is equal to t final divided by h. And inside this update loop, I need to update time. So I'm going to have ti plus 1 is equal to t of i plus h. Update x, x of i plus 1 is equal to x of i plus h times the right-hand side of the x equation, which is just v. And then update for v v of i plus h times the right-hand side of that equation, which is minus k over m times x of i. And if you're curious where those came from, please watch the previous video. And then at the end, we can plot our solution. So let's say figure 1, just create the figure, clear the figure in case it has anything on it. Now plot uh, as a function of time the position of our upper mass. I'll put some labels on there. Label, x label is just time in seconds, and the y label is the position in meters. Okay, I guess that's kind of crazy that we pull that block down two meters initially, but we'll go with that. Okay, so if I run this, that's the uh, solution. So let me Maybe let it run a little bit longer, so maybe 100 seconds, I get too long. And it looks like our solution is growing. If we just have a mass bouncing on a spring, the solution shouldn't grow. So my guess is my time step is too big. I reduce the time step. Um, starting to look better, still growing some, so maybe even reduce it more. That looks pretty good. I don't really see the, the solution growing, it just oscillates back and forth. So this is with um, Euler's method. I want to use, so this update here was Euler's. If I want to use a, say, Hume's method, I would have an update look, that looked like x star is equal to x of i plus h times v of i. Just put that in parentheses. And, um, v star is equal to v of i plus h times minus k over m times x of i, which are just the Euler updates, basically, but we store that in x star and v star. And then we have the update, the actual update, x of i plus 1 is equal to x of i plus h over 2 times the update v of i plus v star. And then v of i plus 1 is equal to v of i plus h over 2 times the uh, 
the right-hand side evaluated at i, so minus k over m times x of i, um, plus the right-hand side evaluated at x i plus 1, which is uh, minus k over m times x i plus 1, which is x star. So there's our update using Hume's method, and if I run that, if I get the same answer, I do. Um, I can probably use even a bigger time step, the Hume's method, to get the same solution.